Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Oscar Bevis for IFL TV. Blinded by the lights a little bit. Um, but a new look, Stevie Levy. How are you? Mature. I'm mature now. This is my 30-year-old look. I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Um, I don't believe the matured bit at all. Sorry. I love you, but I don't. <laughs> mature, like a nice cheese. Everyone says, like, a fine wine, but who wants wine? We want cheese. <laughs> I'm definitely, I would definitely pick wine. 100%. Yeah. Really? I think you're a fighter, and right now you're just hungry. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, I just heard you say to someone, actually, right now you're not in your zombie state yet. No. Um, are you usually at this point feeling like a little bit groggy and whatnot? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm usually unapproachable. I, I walked in today and there's a few people look like like this, like, shit, can we approach you? I'm like, it's fine, it's safe, I'm okay, I'm happy. <laughs> um, how buzzing are you for this fight on Friday night? We saw what it meant to you to be told you were fighting for the EBU silver title, um, and now it's only two days away. Yeah, mate, it's mad, isn't it? I'm just, oh, mate, I, I took my little boy to school Monday and I thought next time I see him, it's going to be when, he, when we get to that venue. And um, he's walking me to the ring. We've got a sick ring walk planned. He's going to be ringside. And every, everything we've done, me, and da me, David, and obviously Joe, the team, the training hasn't stopped since Poland, really. Three days after Poland, I was back up there, and it's been non-stop. It's been such a journey. It's been the best days of my life, though, really. Like, we've, we have such a good time, but we've trained so hard. Like, so hard. Like, it's been insane. Like, I lost count how many times I've cried and bled, like, Cut, injured myself it's just been nuts but it's been perfect and everything's happened at the right time like my fitness wise like the, the with me and Joe been hitting PBs like bang on last week and now we're tapering down and feeling fresh and gonna be full of carbs soon and oh it's just gonna be mad I've got over 100 people traveling from all around the country it's gonna be sick like it's gonna be sick it's it, it, obviously Poland was sick but it was so rushed this has just been a long time coming and uh it's finally here I'm gonna pass the mic back now <laughs> Do you know, what? I am buzzing for you at this um, at this opportunity. I am, of course, I'm going to be there. I'm here the whole week. Um, I love the way you've included your little boy in kind of the steps of the journey. Like you said, the ring walk on Friday night. Um, we've seen him in post fight interviews and whatnot. I know some fighters are kind of wary of keeping their children too near the sport at times. Um, but your little boy is there. He's included in all of this, and he's like right in your journey. Yeah. He, um, his passion is football, so I'm not like thinking, oh my God, what if he wants to fight? If he wants to fight, he can, but he loves football. But w when we're at home, it's just me and him. So he, he lives and breathes it with me. But then saying that, while I've been away uh, training during the week and he spent all this time with his dad, it's been amazing because he's had his dad and his stepmom, his little brothers, his nan, his granddad. I'm hearing that they're having games nights and movie nights. And I'm thinking, wow, he's getting that sort of life as well. Because with me, it is just me and him. So it is just boxing, 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 staying up late, playing Fortnite, you know, uh, watching films. We, we, we're, more, we're like best friends. I am learning to be more mum than just best friend because I'm not good at discipline and we don't have rules. But um, he gets that when he's with his other family, like his dad and his stepmom. Like, it, I'm just so happy. I've, obviously, I've missed him, but I've had him at weekends. But just getting the updates of what he's been up to, I'm thinking I'm not leaving him with some stranger. He, you know, he, we, we, we talk, he's got a phone. Like, he's, he's old enough to text me now. Like, he has mad in it. I'll probably send an essay and get okay or whatever. But having your, your kids say, love you, mum, it's just amazing. And the message is like, what the fuck? He's not a little baby anymore. But I love including him. He's not shy. We've got a little plan for the ring walk. It was half his idea, actually. I won't spoil it. But he, he's so confident, and I think that's because he's been around me and he's seen when I'm nervous, but I go through with it. And that's teaching him, you know, if he's nervous about something, go for it. You know, I think I'm setting really good examples for him um, with what I'm doing, and he, and he knows why I'm putting the hard work in. And I overhear him telling people that, you know, his, his mum's a professional boxer, and he puts a, he goes, Mum, you got another fan on, on the line? Hello, yeah, I'm his mum, yeah, I'm a boxer. Like, it's so cool, and he's so proud of me, bless him, and that means everything. And I, I just, I'm so happy that I, I'm able, I'm grateful GBM that I can include him. But to be honest, wherever I fight, um, he's being there. I'll, 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 I'll go to the death because I was done one of the ring walk without him. Obviously, when I was abroad, I couldn't have him, and I'm going to show up now. I'm rambling. <laughs> Do you know what? He is living the kids' dream. You said no rules, late night fortnight, and movies. I think he is kind of living the kids' dream. Um, um, sorry, yeah. Saying it because uh, you know his poor stepmom and dad have to then get him back into the rule and routine when he's there. It's all back to front. Normally, the mum sets routine, they, the dad fucks it up, but. The other way around, I'm going to try and be more routine because they're, they're, now, they're now getting him in routine so that after the fight, I've got to continue it. I can ruin it. Yeah, no, 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 no. So you can continue, of course. Um, I spoke to Dave and I highlighted something you said when you said, I've got the best trainer in the world. And I said to him, um, joined by Dave Allen, the best trainer in the world. And he said, he was like, I genuinely believe for Steve, I am the best trainer in the world. Um, obviously, an Emmanuel Stewart type in everyone's corner. 
as brilliant as it would be, doesn't technically work. It has to be the right person for the right person. Um, and he said he was like, I believe for Stevie, I don't think she would find a better trainer in the world. And, and you believe that? Yeah, he's perfect for me. He, he he's. I've, I've had so many different trainers and, and different people help me out and, and, and they've made me who I am. But he is now tuning me into a decent boxer. And, and, and everyone's always said I'm a good fighter. Yeah, I can fight. But it's something we just click together. Like I say, he's my best friend and he knows me better than anyone in the world, scarily, actually. like So, um, he, you know, I, I have little... I'm a woman. He got real... I don't have mood swings. I have hormones. You know what I mean? Like, the other day I was shadow boxing and I just burst out crying with shadow boxing. He don't know why, but it's because he was crunching Chris. So I didn't dare tell him because I thought he's my boss and he can crunch Chris if he wants to. But just, he was well, crunching Chris. Yeah, and obviously I'm hungry at the minute and I was, and I was shadow boxing. I was trying to focus on it yeah and then uh, this is the thing with women yeah like I've probably there's probably been a lot of things that's happened lately that I should have cried about but I didn't I held it in because that's what we do as women and mums and then the littlest thing can tip you over the edge and literally he was crunching Chris and I was shadow box and I just started crying he's like what the fuck I'm like oh it's like I'll be honest then I was alright again after a round but like not many people would put up with me but he puts up with me he's amazing and um, he puts so much time into me Joe and the lads because he's only got a few of us like we get so much of his time that he's there for the hard training he's there for the simple repetitive training but he watches it all and he and he and he you know he, even shadow boxing he watches it he tells us what to do so I, I, that just takes that big oh my god what if I'm shit away that I used to worry because I know I won't be shit because he's going to be telling me he's the puppet master and pulls the strings and me and Joe do what he says do you know what I mean <laughs> and hopefully doing what he says means you walk away as a champion on Friday night um, so what sort of fight are you expecting and what do you think we're going to get I think it's going to be a very entertaining fight we think she's going to come out gun Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Um, and I think she is going to come out, um, if it's anything like the other fights we've watched, she is a come forward, pressure fighter, loads of shots. Um, and for the first time ever, David thinks I can outbox someone, not just out tough them. I'm going to jab her fucking head off, mate. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think, I think she'll, she'll be very busy, but she ain't going to outwork me. She, she ain't done what I've done. No way. No way. But it's going to be an entertaining fight, and I know it'll be a hard fight, but I want that, you know. I want, I want to entertain. I've got a lot, a lot of people coming down. So um, it's going to be, I think it's going to be the best night of my life. I know everyone always says that the day their child's born is the best day of their life, but I was in so much fucking pain. Like, that was a horrible day. I love Morgan, but that day wasn't the best day of my life. Having my son next to me walk to the ring and, and winning a title will be the best day of my life. <gasps> and dare I say, just as the last thing, that you win the title by leaving her flat on the canvas. Do you know what? I said to David, I went, imagine if I actually knock her out. I could get my first knockout and my first title on the same night. And I overheard Izzy saying there's a knockout bonus. So I'm holding him to that. He said it to the blokes, but women have got to be treated the same. If not better, please. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Not better. They're same. Equal. But um, you'd think I'd add sugar, wouldn't you? I'm talking quite a lot, ain't I? <laughs> I think I'm... Yeah, what the fuck? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk out here and go like, oh, I hit a wall. <laughs> um, a to win. Oh, mate, that'd be insane. I don't want to... She, does she speak English? Because I'll tell you what I think I'm going to do, but I don't want her to know what she, I think I'm going to do. Do you think she'll watch this and understand what I'm saying? Um, I would say don't risk it. Yeah, all right Just then. Gonna yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I don't want to, I know, I, I, I predict, I'm gonna tell you, Oscar, off camera, what shot I think is gonna be the finishing shot, and then you can, like, confirm after that's what I said. We won't say it on it, just in case she's sat at the airport now, watching it, which she can't. You know what we're about to do? You're about to say what shot it is. I bleep it out for the interview, and when we do your post fight interview. So you are gonna knock her out with. She is gonna get. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook.